From a freak January storm leaving a trail of destruction in Fort Myers, and a stunning EF3 tornado tearing through and over Kansas, to the incredible footage of a close-range tornado destroying an empty farmhouse, and the terrifying moment a powerful twister hits a Chinese city at night, here are our picks for the most incredible tornadoes of 2022. When you picture spinning wind vortexes in South Florida, you probably default to hurricanes or water spouts. But on January 16th of 2022, a series of destructive tornadoes touched down in Fort Myers, long before the city was leveled by Hurricane Ian come the fall. Recording from his balcony, a local man tracked the storm for two miles as it passed through an open field and made its way towards some distant mobile homes. That's a real tornado right there. That is a real tornado. Our cameraman is lucky to be so far away. The storm moves ominously from left to right, passing behind the tower ahead of him and making its way toward the red-roofed buildings in the back. That is when it finally picks up speed and embarks on its path of destruction. You could see the sparks flying as the wind took down power lines. It continues moving right, forcing our cameraman to move with it. Now closer to his hotel or apartment, we can see debris flying around the tornado. Several massive flares spark as the storm destroys more power lines. It eventually moves past our cameraman's vantage point and dissipates shortly after. According to Lee County government officials, the EF2 tornado destroyed 28 homes and damaged 62 others so badly that they were considered unlivable. Almost 200 people were forced out, with most of the damage centered around a trailer park in the Iona-McGregor area. Four months later, about 450 miles north in the small town of Ellabel, Georgia, locals faced their own threat. The town is home to a few thousand people and one of the most destructive tornadoes of early 2022. According to the National Weather Service, winds peaked at 185 miles per hour on April 5th as the EF4 level storm passed over Ellabel and the rest of Bryan County. A local man named Eli received a tornado warning on his phone as the storm barreled down. He figured he'd go outside to have a look, but he couldn't believe his eyes when the storm was staring back at him. Oh my god! Eli hightails it back inside, and we love the fact that he shuts the gate behind him. He tells everyone to get in the house while he remains outside and keeps recording. He's convinced it will miss him. Let's see if he's right. Oh my god! That was awesome! 
Well, it missed them all right, only causing some light damage and a tree to fall. While Eli only had to replace a few windows, other people around Bryan County weren't as lucky. The Elabel storm was nearly three quarters of a mile wide and traced a path of destruction for 13 miles across Bryan County. It touched down a little after 5 p.m. and stayed on the ground for 15 harrowing minutes before dissipating north of Elabel near the town of Blitchton. Tragically, this storm did take one life and left several others injured. By the end of April, tornado season was in full swing, and our next storm takes us over 1,100 miles northwest of Elabel to Andover, Kansas, a small town in the heart of Tornado Alley, USA. On April 29th of 2022, a powerful EF3 tornado touched down outside Andover, a Wichita suburb of about 15,000 people. But all of them knew what to expect when the clouds started spinning, as tornadoes are a common occurrence in this part of the country. After escorting his family into their basement, one local man decided to stand outside and film the passing tornado. As the video starts, there is something almost post-apocalyptic about the opening shot. is about to get jacked. The center looks like a white ribbon or a ghostly tail as it sucks back into the sky. The storm hovers in the air as if biding its time to choose its next target. And just when you think it's over, the storm roars back with a vengeance. The storm passes a few blocks over, and our cameraman watches helplessly as his neighbors take the brunt of the damage. The tornado maintains that same ghostly appearance. Thankfully, it remains rather indecisive. The storm kicks up loose debris, and our cameraman fears the worst for his neighbors. Thankfully, it doesn't seem strong enough to rip the roofs off their houses or cause catastrophic damage, but that ominous hum probably isn't a good sign of things to come. You can beg all you want, but the storm will end when it wants to. In fact, the storm seems like it's gaining momentum as sparks fly behind another house. Soon, that white tail forms a full-fledged tornado. Hopefully, Rose's ranch didn't get hit too hard as the tornado moved away from our cameraman's neighborhood. According to the National Weather Service, the storm's top wind speed reached 155 miles per hour and traveled for almost 13 miles before lifting at 831. It damaged over a thousand buildings, destroying between 300 and 400 of them. But then again, tornadoes like this are all too common in Andover, Kansas. But when you're living a thousand miles away in northern Michigan, tornadoes are probably the last thing on your mind. Until they're not. 
The small city of Gaylord sits on the northern tip of Michigan, almost perfectly between Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. They've modeled themselves after an alpine village, as they get plenty of snowfall in the wintertime. Now, the weather is usually nice in the spring, but on May 20th of 2022, a once-in-a-generation storm, as they called it, tore through the alpine town like a violent avalanche. As he pulled up next to a Walgreens, a local man heard someone pass by screaming, Tornado! He looked at his side-view mirror, only to see this monstrosity crossing the highway behind him. The storm passes over the pharmacy, kicking up debris and loose objects in its path. A roof flies by like a frisbee and lands hard at the gas station next door. The storm eventually passes, continuing on its path of destruction. According to local reports, the Gaylord storm claimed two lives and injured dozens more. The National Weather Service rated it as an EF3, with winds upwards of 150 miles per hour. It collapsed buildings, flipped cars, and destroyed 95% of a mobile home park. Now, while we generally associate tornadoes with the Midwestern United States, we can't forget about the other side of the world. In China, some storms can be just as dangerous. On the northern banks of the Yellow River lies the prefecture-level city of Puyan. Just over 3 million people live within the metro area, and regarding natural disasters, most of them just worry about flooding on the Yellow. But on June 13th of 2022, a powerful tornado targeted Chengjai Village. Thankfully, it spun up near a farm on the outskirts, avoiding the more densely populated areas. The farmhouse didn't stand a chance, though. The video cuts off shortly after, but aftermath footage shows the devastation to the landscape as locals gather to pick up the literal pieces. Taking a look at the footage, we see debris blown in every direction as our camera operator bravely stands a safe distance away. Soon, the storm decimates another building before continuing onwards. As far as official numbers and data are concerned, we don't know much about this tornado. But our sources do say that despite the ferocity of this tornado, there were miraculously no reported injuries, likely because of how rural the area is. But then, three days later and about a thousand miles south, another tornado spun up, this time in the dead of night. June 16th of 2022 was a pitch-black evening in Guangzhou, China, the capital of Guangdong province and an important port city for Chinese commerce. Then, for five terrifying minutes, an EF2 tornado sent sparks flying as it moved downtown. The storm caught everyone's attention with a massive power surge, sending a bright flash through the sky. If you didn't know what was happening, you would assume it was lightning. But then, the flashes got bigger and brighter. The massive flashes illuminate the sky, and you can see the sparks flying after each one. Elsewhere, someone had a better vantage point of the big blue blasts.
Closer to the explosions, another resident stands out on their balcony, braving the storm for perhaps the best shot in the video. And we can't fault them for the shaky camera as they record the exploding grid and the power cutting in the distance. Aftermath footage shows the city in disarray as people struggle to clear off their cars. According to Eric Wong, a Chinese extreme weather enthusiast, the Guangzhou storm might have been the first time a tornado entered a city holding more than 18 million people. Nobody got hurt, but parts of the city were blacked out for some time after. Now our final storm takes us halfway around the world to the Baltic country of Estonia. More specifically, the city of Tartu, one of 15 counties that make up the country. July was a particularly rainy month for the Baltic region, with almost half of the monthly norm dropping suddenly in neighboring Latvia. In Tartu, a powerful storm spun up on July 12th, crossing the road ahead of a local on his way home from work. Debris began spinning as the storm emerged from the trees. With nowhere to turn, the man decided to record the event as the tornado passed right in front of him. The storm eventually passes, and our driver deems it safe to keep driving. It looks like a giant just walked through the tree line as everything ahead of him is bent, broken, and flattened. The Tartu storm destroyed several buildings and broke a forest's worth of trees. Sources say the storm peaked at EF2 intensity, but official reports out of the Baltic region are hard to come by. There were several other tornadoes later in the year, but as of making this video, these were the ones we wanted to feature. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.